Hello, me bros. This is Jason of Gamer Talks, and get a load of this big boy. The original Xbox. I mean, my god. This thing is huge. And my. This fell, just fell over. But no, we're not going to be studying the logistics and the size of the original Xbox because that is not worth it. We're going to do a collection video. So, here's my original Xbox that I've owned since 2015. I have not one controller, but two controllers. Not even that. I've got three controllers. This is a blue one, and my other ones are black. And this one also has a memory card for some reason. And I have the DVD uh, playback stuff that fell back there. So, where is that collection, Jason? Well, I will show you, fellow viewer. Behold! Behold the four corners of my original Xbox collection. This is the biggest collection that I own as of, as of now. So, put them all together, and you've got... Well, you get all of these piles, but in total, I have 106 games on the original Xbox. Yes, 106. Anyways, so now, let's start. And now, let's begin. So, for my original Xbox games, um, I have them in basically whatever order I decided. And any games that are from a series, I will put every game from that series that I own. And I will say my thoughts accordingly. Also, quick disclaimer. Because my collection is so big, I'm going to be splitting it into two parts. So this first part is going to be my first two stacks. And then I'm going to do my other two... Uh, uh, I can't speak. I'm going to do my other two stacks in the other video. Alright, so let's start. So starting with the first game in the first pile, obviously, is... Um, a game that many people would say one of, is one of the best on the original Xbox... But a lot of people have not played it, and that is Crimson Skies, High Road to Revenge. So this game is a flying game where you're in an alternate universe 1930s, where you're playing as this guy, and you're just going around dashing with dashing heroes, dangerous games, and deadly dogfights, because look at this guy. This looks like a guy who just wants to have fun just shooting everyone down in a plane. Yeah. And also, um, there's a demo of the game of um, Voodoo Vince on the disc, and I... And, um, that's a really good game as well. I don't, ha I don't have Voodoo Vince, but, um, that's a quick little thing if you like Crimson Skies. And I do want to get in, mo get more into Crimson Skies, it's just I'm kind of stuck in the second mission right now. Alright, the next is Fable the Lost Chapters, and I haven't played this game yet. Yeah, I know, I'm sorry. I want to get into this game. It's just my backlog is so huge for the original Xbox, I don't have... Enough time to play all of these games because I have so many. Alright, the next is Star Wars Clone Wars and Tetris World. The only dual pack that I have in this entire collection. I know there's other ones out there like the Sega GT 2002 and Jet Save Radio Future. And uh, that other one had NCAA Football 2005 and... Uh, what was it? NCAA Football? Oh, uh, Top Spin 2, I think. Yeah, so, Star Wars Clone Wars and Tetris Worlds. Both on the same disc and with two separate manuals. See? Ta-da! So, um, Clone Wars is actually a pretty decent, is a pretty decent little Star Wars game. And you do, it's basically a beat-em-up combined with a flying game and, um, on-ground, like, car, like, vehicle combat. And then Tetris Worlds is Tetris. And it's Paul's version of Tetris. I'm sorry, Paul. I have your copy of Tetris Worlds. I'm sorry. I, I don't know anyone named Paul. So, pfft. whoops. Next is World Championship Poker. Who cares? And then next is Halo Combat Evolved. And Halo 2. Okay, so the Halo games. The games that everyone will say, like, is the definitive games on the original Xbox. And, uh, I'm sorry, people... But I have not played them yet. What? How can you not have played Halo? It's the best games on the original Xbox. <sighs> okay. Well, first off, person, calm down. I do want to get into the Halo games. It's just, again, my backlog. Look at this. Look at all these games. <laughs> but, um, I did play the, um, Halo 2. And from what I've played of Halo 2, this is really, really good. And I haven't played Combat Evolved yet, but um, 
I'm guessing it's kind of the same as Halo 2, but um, I don't know. They're both good. I can tell they're both good games, even from looking at gameplay of the first game. Alright, next is The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. And, um, again, I haven't played this game either. Don't worry, we'll get to games that I've actually played. But, um, Fellowship of the Ring, from what I saw of gameplay, it takes the plot of The Fellowship of the Ring, I think, and it just places it into a game. Why not? Because, uh, this was before, I think, EA... Got the license because they did two towers, Return of the King and the Third Age. I want to get the Third Age because Third Age looks like looks like a really fun game, and I want to play some more of this. So it's like a adventure game. Uh, I think I guess like a Zelda esque and um adventure game. I don't know about dungeons, but hmm. all right. Next is Amped, which is a snowboarding game. It's kind of like SSX, but um I find SSX to be a better game over this. That's just my opinion. If you like this game. That's, that is great. It's just, I'm so used to SSX, I'm kind of spoiled by it. Kind of. But Amped is a fun little game. I know, it, it, it has a f some sequels, which I, I want to I wanna get Amped 2 at some point. It's just, I want to play some more Amps just to form an actual opinion on it. Alright, next is, this one's not really a game, but this is um, Exhibition Demo Disc for Xbox. So this one's not really a game. It's just a demo disc, and here are all the demos that are on it. And you also get like, some extra content for Dead or Alive 3, which I'll get to in a bit. And, um, yeah, I'd say the best demos that are on here are Panzer Dragoon Orda and um, Time Splitters 2. The, I think there's, um, there's a trailer for Halo 2 in, in this demo disc, so you can get to see, like, I guess the early stages of Halo 2. I don't know. Alright, next is Mojo. Now, this is a game I have played. So this game is a puzzle game where you play as this as you play as this marble and you destroy blocks of different colors. So you have to swap your colors around and destroy all the blocks. It's quite it's actually a really fun puzzle game. It's a, like a physics puzzle game. So like think like Marble Madness, I guess in the arcades or the NES, Genesis whatever. So think Marble Madness, but instead of reaching the, reaching the goal, you have to destroy blocks. It's quite a fun game. But since it's Mojo, you might want to keep it away from Watch Mojo. Ha! No. I'm sorry. But yeah, Mojo is definitely um, a hidden gem. I'm not sure if I'm ever going to do a Let's Play on that game, but if I did, I'd, that'd be a kind of a fun game to play through. Alright, next I got some of the Ghost Recon games. So we got Ghost Recon Island Thunder. Whoa, you <laughs> have Ghost Recon Island Thunder. Oh, I'll get to Ghost Recon 2, but... uh. I don't know if the first Ghost Recon on the Xbox. I have it on GameCube for some reason. But uh, Island Thunder... Okay, I'm going to say this right now. I suck at the Ghost Recon games. Like, like just watching me, you're probably like, Oh my god. You're supposed to go this way. Bring your teammates over there. Well, I'm sorry. I am not good at tactic sh squad race tactic shooters at all. So, I am sorry, person. I mean, I, I, it's got a fun sucking at the game, but so. And then I got Ghost Recon 2 and, whoops, Ghost Recon 2 Summit Strike. Now, the big fatal flaw I have with Ghost Recon 2 is that the game seems way too hard. Even on the lowest difficulty, it's still hard as balls. I still, to this day, have yet to complete the first mission in either one of these. Call me, call me stupid, call me like... Whatever you want to do with tactic shooters. I tried. I le legitimately tried to get past them. But I couldn't. May again, maybe it's just... Maybe this series is not for me. I don't know. But I like the Wii Ghost Recon game. Maybe the, Even though that's a real shooter. Alright, next is Major League Baseball 2K5. Who cares? And then The Simpsons Road Rage. Another good... Another game that I've put some time into. So, if you could tell by this, this is Crazy Taxi, but with The Simpsons. Whoa, like you didn't know that at all. But no, this game actually is Crazy Taxi. Fun fact, did you know that um, Sega actually sued EA over this game because the gameplay was so similar to Crazy Taxi? Yeah, I think Sega actually won the lawsuit. I don't know if they actually did win, but fun. that's a fun fact. The more you know. But, um, Road Rage is a really good game. It's, 
It just has the, the Simpsons like twist to it. So you're just playing as Simpsons characters in their own vehicles, and <laughs> you just drive people around and just cause mayhem to the entire city of Springfield. Alright, next is one of the Burger King games. I do have all three of them, and I've only played one of them. Uh, which I think was this one, which is Big Bumpin'. <laughs> oh my god. Just get a load of this cover art. We got the Burger King on a bumper car, and then we got... <laughs> we got this chicken. <laughs> Look at its face. Look at its face. It's like <laughs> it's, It looks like, hey, hey Burger King. I want to peck your face off. Oh my god. <laughs> but this game is like, it's like air hockey. You're basically in these bumper cars, and it, you basically play air hockey. If the camera could focus, there we go. Well, not if the camera could focus, but um, you get to, well, it says right here, six characters, five arenas, one goal, to smash you to smithereens. That and to score goals. But um, Big Bumpin' is, for what I played, it was, it was decent. It, was a, it wasn't the, the greatest game I've ever played, but I don't think it tried to. And next is Doom 3. Haven't played this game yet. I want to get into it because I've heard that Doom 3 is actually a pretty good game from what I've heard. I'm not sure. Alright, next is Fantastic Four. So this game, I'm guessing, takes the plot of the 2005 movie and just puts it into a game. Now, I haven't seen that movie, so I don't know anything about the story, but this game is... Meh. I actually completed it, like, really, really fast for some reason. I don't know. It kept me invested for the whole way through. It's just a basic beat-em-up. But I think um, X-Men Legends, but um, much more simple? I don't know. It's it's an okay game. Alright, next is Forza Motorsport with Xbox Live Arcade. Now, it actually does work, surprisingly, and you get, like, a bunch of of games on it on um, Xbox Live Arcade with like um, Zuma and Peggle and a lot of other games that I can't remember because there were so many. But Forza Motorsport is it's just a basic racing like sim, sim um, simulator racing game. Better than according to this, according to e Electronic Gaming Monthly, they claim it's better than Gran Turismo Four, which is debatable. But um. I don't know if I would say this is better than Gran Turismo 4 because I haven't played Gran Turismo 4 or this. So, that'll be up to your opinion. Alright, the next is... Actually, I might not be able to put this into two parts. But uh, next is The Chronicles of Riddick Escape from Butcher Bay with Vin Diesel on the cover as Riddick. Like, look at him. He's got knives. He's just ready to get out of Butcher Bay. So, um, so again, this is also a game I haven't played, but I've heard, like, amazing things about it. Like, oh my god, look at this game. You got Vin Diesel doing the likeness, having his likeness and doing voiceovers. You, it's a stealth game, I think. You're escaping this, pr um, prison. And uh, with Vin Diesel just saying stuff like, I'm escaping the prison. I can't do a good Vin Diesel impression. But, um, I've read that that's also, like, one of the best, on uh, my licensed games. Which is really, really surprising. Alright, the next is Oddworld, much as Odyssey, and Oddworld Stranger's Wrath. Alright, so let's start with uh, much as Odyssey first, because these two are so drastically different from each other. I'm going to start with much as Odyssey first. Much as Odyssey is, I would say, one of my favorite games on the original Xbox. Thing is, the original Xbox is a console that is filled with underrated games, because most people bought it for Halo, and that's it. But... Um, but much as Odyssey, I think I would pick this over Halo because it looks w much more interest unique compared to Halo. And um, if you want to know my full thoughts on this on this game, I have a let's play of this game on my channel, which I'll put in the link, which I'll put a link in the description below. But yeah, much as Odyssey, I'd say this is one of my favorite games on the original Xbox. And then uh, Stranger's Wrath, I've heard this game is like so much better than much as Odyssey. I don't know, but even though EA's dumb logo is on there for some reason. Uh, Stranger's Wrath is, like, it's a first-person shooter where you go around the Wild West in Oddworld collecting, uh, bounties to get some sweet, sweet moolah! If you know Oddworld, you know what moolah is, obviously. But, uh, yeah, Stranger's Wrath, it's such a, because uh, you got live ammo, because you use animals to, as your weapons, because you have this crossbow, and you just shoot 
shoot all the outlaws with animals. It's such a unique idea for a first-person shooter that I don't think has ever been replicated, which is surprising. Alright, next is Dead or Alive 3, one of the few fighting games I have on the original Xbox. So, Dead or Alive 3, uh, I've barely played this game. I think you know why I got this game? Like, no, but, well, no, but, but honestly, I'm not, I didn't do Dead or Alive, I didn't get Dead or Alive 3 for that. I got it for, like, because I wanted to try out the series because I really want to get into more fighting games. Because now fighting games are starting to, I'm starting to get more interested into fighting games. Now with, well, like with uh, Marvel vs. Capcom, Smash Bros, um, Street Fighter, etc. Dead or Alive, um, I haven't played enough of this to form an opinion, but um, from what I, I played, it seemed kind of interesting. Kind of, It kind of plays like Tekken, I guess. I don't know. I haven't played enough of Tekken. Alright, next is ATV Quad Power Racing 2! 2! Alright, so then we got... This guy, cheating. Look at this guy. This guy is a cheater. He is kicking this guy off of his foiler. A cheater! Alright. Well, anyways, aside from him cheating, ATV Quad Power Racing 2 is a basic racing game with ATVs. Think of the ATV Offered Fury series on the PlayStation 2, but uh, exactly the same as that game. The camera could focus. There we go. But yeah. It's basically exactly the same as the ATV Offered Fury games. Alright, the next is Pariah. Which is, from what I've heard, an underrated first-person shooter. Again, I haven't played it yet. But what was interesting is that it came with... When I bought this at my local used game store, Core Gaming, it came with... It, it had a business card in it for... What was it? Uh, Video Game Monster in Fairpoint, New York. And I don't live in New York, so that was just there. My camera focus. There we go. But I want I want to start getting into this game because it looks like a really fun first person shooter. All right. So the last game in this first pile is Pinball Hall of Fame: The Gottlieb Collection. This game is just brings nostalgia to my eyes. So this this game I originally had on the PlayStation Two, but then the disc just was scratched beyond belief. I couldn't play it anymore. So then I found an original Xbox uh, copy at Core Gaming, like I just mentioned earlier. And um, and then I eventually found another PlayStation Two version at another um, uh, game store, Bull Moose. So Gottlieb Collection. Uh, here are the tables that the Gottlieb Collection has. Uh, my favorite ones are Genie and Black Hole because I like the table in Genie and just how like unique it is. And I like Black Hole because I like space, 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 space. If you know me, you know I love space. But uh, yeah. Pinball Hall of Fame, the Gottlieb Collection. If you like pin any like pinball compilations, I'd say the, like this one and the, and Pinball Hall of Fame, the Williams Collection, are the best pinball compilations you can get. All right, so the next pile is let's see. First game in the second pile is Medal of Honor European Assault, which right now is my favorite Medal of Honor game because um I don't know. This is something about that like maybe it's because it's set in Europe. And I've always been interested in Europe. So maybe that's why, because you... Well, obviously, if you know the Medal of Honor games, they're first-person shooters set in uh, World War II. So this is, like, the Europe part of World War II. I don't know exactly where it takes place. Maybe in Germany, but I'm, I'm not completely sure. But for what I've played so far, it's it's a good game. It's my, it's my favorite Medal of Honor game so far. Alright, next is Enclave. Now, this game is a beat-em-up, I think, where you play as, like, a bunch of monsters. It's like, choose your path, warrior of the light or minion of the dark. So you get 12 playable characters to play with. You got, like, demons and, like, monsters and thieves, etc. And from what I played, it was not bad. So, again, like I said before, I seriously want to get into a lot more games on the original Xbox, but from what I played of... Enclave, that was not bad. Alright, next is Monopoly Party, which is a recent um, acquisition of mine. So I haven't played this yet because I can't get anyone to play with me. I mean, yeah, I can play it on my, I can play it by myself, but <laughs> unless it's like Mario Party or maybe something else, like it's just kind of hard for me to 
get into a game playing by yourself, like a party game. Alright, next is Tack, the Great Juju Challenge. So this game is a 3D platformer. Uh, well, it's the third game in a series, <laughs> believe it or not. And uh, it's from what I play, it's a 3D platformer where you play as, obviously, Tack, and then you got uh, this guy, Locke. And you two are just in the Great Juju Challenge. Doing, a, I'm guessing, all these challenges for the Jujus because... I don't know. Um, I'm guessing it's some kind of racing game because, look at that, race to the finish line, battle side by side, and unleash your inner chicken and lobster, apparently. So this is like a, chat, like a bunch of challenges for a 3D platformer. So it's like a collect-a-thon 3D platformer. And for what I played, it was pretty good. All right, next is Splinter Cell. Splinter Cell Pandora Tomorrow. And Splinter Cell Chaos Theory, Limited Collector's Edition. Okay, so here are the Splinter Cell games. I don't have Double Agent on the Xbox. I have it on GameCube for some reason. But uh, Splinter Cell. Um, think of these games as like Metal Gear Solid, but there's, there's things that are different to it compared to Metal Gear Solid. Like the light, the light meter, um, uh, interrogate, interrogating someone. I know this... I know interrogation became a part of Metal Gear Solid 3, but still. Splinter Cell. I I mean, I for some reason, I just can't get it on the Tom Clancy games. Like, any of them. Well, I don't have Rainbow Six, but I can't get into Ghost Recon. And I've, well, but I actually really want to get into Splinter Cell because these games just look excellent. I did, I did play a bit of um, Splinter Cell and um, Pandora Tomorrow. And Pandora Tomorrow is my favorite out of what I played. And then Chaos Theory, I only got this because of this steel book. I mean, look at it. Look how cool it is. You got Sam Fisher's goggles and Splinter Cell on the back. I mean, not Splinter Cell. My I mean, Sam Fisher on the back. And added two discs. So there's the disc for the game. And then, like, a behind-the-scenes limited collector's edition bonus DVD. But, yeah. I, out of the games that are in my backlog for the original Xbox, uh, Splinter Cell is higher up. On a lot on the on my backlog, but um, yeah, these games I seriously want to get into because Splinter Cell for some reason just seems like a series that would continue on, but for some reason Ubisoft didn't do that. For some reason, next is Far Cry Instincts. Haven't played it yet. Next is Blood Wake. All you do well, so basically with this game is that you fight with boats. Yes, think of Twisted Metal, but you're on the water with this boat, and you're just shooting other boats, and you get power-ups for your boats, and yeah, look, high-speed gunboat warfare. See, you fight with boats. I mean, look at this. Why, why would you not want to fight with boats? Because look, it's fast and furious with boats, and you just blow up boats. I think I've said boats way too, too much, but just think of it. It's a vehicle combat game on the water. And, yeah. You fight with boats. Alright, next is Outlaw Golf. So this game is a, obviously it's a golf game. But, uh, but it has an edge. Because, <laughs> uh, it has like, what, does it say on the back? Yeah, it says like here, great golf, bad attitude. There's, um, strippers, ex-cons, wannabe rappers... Like, what is this game, Jason? Well, I don't know. It's, from the, just from this description, it's very weird. <laughs> and what makes it even weirder is that Steve Carell is the, is the um, commentator on the game. <laughs> yeah, Steve Carell from The Office and from Despicable Me and 40-Year-Old Virgin and Little Miss Sunshine. But, my God. <laughs> so, I'm guessing that with this game, like, if you suck at swinging... You just like get angry and you're just shooting you and you just hit your ball even faster. Like say you do this. And then next you go like WAH! Like oh my god. That's such a weird game. And there's a bunch of other outlaw golf games. For whatever reason. And then next is Madagascar, which is a okay game. It's a 3D platformer with really stiff controls. But uh there's a mini golf in this game that I really want to unlock because if you know me. I'm a sucker for mini golf. <laughs> but uh Madagascar, my god, camera focus. There we go. Madagascar, I like the movie, so um I don't know. <laughs> I wanna um, 
Maybe play some more of this. Maybe it gets better as it goes as it goes along. But uh, get up there. There we go. All right. Next is NHL 2005. Who cares? All right. Then Need for Speed Underground and Need for Speed Underground 2. More games that I want to get into. Need for Speed Underground. Um, I'm because <laughs> I've heard that like these games are the best games in the series. I mean, I don't know because I haven't played them yet, but uh. Underground, just, I mean, look at this. You got stylistic cars, and then you got a wheel with cars in the city. And, yeah. These games just look really, really fun. Like, customizing cars. And Burnout, uh, not Burnout. Uh, Need for Speed Underground 2 has a demo of Burnout 3 on the disc. So, if you want to get Underground 2 because of Burnout 3, I don't. I wouldn't blame you because Burnout 3 is really fun as well from what I played. Like, just crashing everywhere. All right, next is another racing game, R Racing Evolution, which is Ridge Racer Evolution, I'm pretty sure. So we got uh, a car, <laughs> obviously, and then so we got um, the race is just the beginning because we got Riku just standing in front of a car and just like, let's get ready to drive. And again, another game that I seriously want to get into, but um, again, backlog. All right, next is Max Payne, and and since it's a game by R Star, it's Rockstar. I'm sorry, it's Rockstar. My bad. But uh, Max Payne is a very very interesting game. Obviously, I think everyone knows that. But uh, Max Payne, third person shooter with bullet time from the Matrix. So Max Payne just pretends. So basically, Max Payne is an imp is impersonator of Neo from the Matrix. He's he's got a trench coat. He's got he's got bullet time. He's got everything. Everything you need to be Neo, except the, oh no wait does he have shades? No he doesn't. Boo hoo. But uh Max Payne, what a it's a really interesting game. I want to again I want to get into it more because I because from what I played it was very interesting. Alright, next is probably one of the worst games I have on the original Xbox, but it's kind of a guilty pleasure of mine, and that is Shrek. <laughs> oh my god, Shrek. This game is just dumb. It's such a dumb game, but I can't help but laugh at it, because I, it doesn't even try to follow the plot of the movie at all. So, you, so in the tutorial level, you just like plopped in here, and I mean, look at Shrek's face. Look at that face. He knows. He knows what's up, because you got extra large, extra funny, extra green. Oh, and extra onions, please, because onions have layers. Get out of my swamp. Okay, I'm, so I'm sorry. And you know what else is also really funny about this game? This game was made by DICE. Yeah, Battlefield DICE. Star Wars Battlefront DICE. Mirror's Edge DICE. Yeah, that DICE. DICE made a 3D platformer with Shrek. Before they did all that. And it's... It's so dumb. Like, cause I... You... <laughs> you fart... You know, like, <laughs> oh my god. You burp everywhere. You burp to s defeat your enemies. You you go like this to... to <laughs> like, pommel someone. It's such a dumb game, but yet yeah, it's so funny. Alright, the next is Mech Assault. And Mech Assault 2. Lone Wolf. Now, Mech Assault is the first game I ever got on the original Xbox, and it came with this Xbox Game of the Year sticker from 2002 by GameSpot. So, Mech Assault 2, for some reason, I don't have the limited edition, which I would love to, to have. Uh, Mech Assault is oh, also one of my favorite games on the original Xbox, because, well, both these games. Well, because you're in a mech, and you're, just, you're walking around in a mech, just destroying buildings, squishing people, and firing missiles at other mechs. It's just good old mech goodness. How can you go wrong with that? Alright, next is Tao Fang, Fist of the Lotus. So this game is weird. Because look right here. From the co-creator of Mortal Kombat, which I think was Ed Boon who did this. And the thing with this game is like the pain is real. As if Mortal Kombat wasn't already real enough. Yeah, uh, limb damage. Yeah, hyper real fighters. Yeah, real. And then uh, we got completely, completely interactive and destructible environments. Uh, harbor heal and incredibly deep fighting. 
Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm guessing Ed Boon really wanted this to be, like, the next big fighting game that would rival Mortal Kombat. But it didn't, because we never got a sequel, and I think this was the only game po um, developed by Studio Gigante. Which is a shame, because I could see the potential with this game. But, um, I don't know, maybe it just flopped hard. Alright, next is another copy of Mojo, but the thing is, this one is missing the manual, and it doesn't work. You might not be able to see it, but, uh, it doesn't work. Hey, look, my face. Hey, guys. Alright, next game. Alright, next is Brute Force. So this game, like, I, you remember how I was saying, like, how I suck at Ghost Recon? This game I'm actually way better at. So, because it's basically like Ghost Recon, but unlike, like, looking at a map and st trying to study every single little detail, it's not like that. You just, you just put, press down on the D-pad and just tell your squad what to do. Much simpler compared to Ghost Recon. And this game, I think, was supposed to be like, the, from what I've heard is, it was supposed to be, it tried to be like the next Halo because look at it, the graphics... Like, for 2003, I think this game came out. It's supposed to be, like, impressive for 2003. But it was, like, overhyped. And you know what happens when people are overhyped and people are disappointed. They will rip a game to shreds. But I think this game is is a really good game. Because you get, like, all these characters to play as. And it's really fun. Alright, next is Air Force Delta Storm. So this game is a flying game, obviously being called Air Force Delta Storm. And this game was a recommendation from one of my subscribers, uh, Henry Gonzalez, I'm pretty sure. Um, and I want to I wanna get into this because I know I keep saying that, but my backlog is huge. Look at this. Look at my backlog. It's huge. But uh, Air Force Delta Storm is, I don't know, I haven't played it yet. Sorry I'm saying that a lot, but yeah. Alright, next is LA Rush, which is another recent acquisition of mine. And this game looks like Need for Speed, but like an arcade Need for Speed. Since it's made by Midway, so it kind of has like that Midway, like a touch to it. So like, I don't know, you just cr you crash everywhere, like in Burnout? I don't know. But it looks, again, also like a good, like a good game. Alright, next is Superman, the Man of Steel. And this looks like... An actual good Superman game. Because you know how Superman has a really bad track record of games? <laughs> Superman 64. Um, but Superman Man of Steel, I feel like, will be the game that will remedy that. Because cause looking at the game, it actually looks really fun. You guys got Superman. Look, you got some of the villains. I'm not sure if this is based on the Superman animated series from the 90s. But, I mean, even like it has like that comic book, comic book style to it. So maybe it could be, I don't know. But um hopefully that is better than Superman 64 because what could possibly be worse than Superman 64? I don't know, maybe Bubsy 3D. All right, and then the last game for this um, first part in for my second second pile is Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Now um haven't played this game. <laughs> oh my god. I want again, another game I seriously want to get into because, you know, Everyone says that this is one of the best games on the original Xbox. But, um, again, haven't played it yet. I mean, because cause think about it. It's a long RPG, and RPGs take so long to complete that I, that I don't know what I'm going to start. Okay, so that is it for part one. So here's what I have so far. And then here are these other games that I'm going to do in part two. And um, I'll leave a link to part two when I finish it in the description below. Along with my Oddworld Munch's Odyssey Let's Play. So thank you all for watching the video. And please comment, like, and subscribe. And next video is going to be part two of my original Xbox collection. So shock the world and us, Amiibros. Goodbye.